Hi, this is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com. Now I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH blobs for your Apple TV G2. Now why is it so important to do this? Well, if you're jailbreaking or you care about jailbreaking, it's imperative that you always have a backup copy of your blobs. The reason why is because say you want to downgrade your firmware in the future. The only way to do that is if you have those blobs saved. So saving these is really essential for anyone who's into jailbreaking. Say for instance you upgraded your Apple TV G2 to a higher firmware version by accident. Well, if there's no jailbreak available for that firmware yet, then there's no way you can jailbreak, there's no way you can downgrade. But if you have your SHSH blob safe, you can downgrade your firmware in order to jailbreak. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now I'm on a Mac and I'm running iOS 4.2.1 on my Apple TV G2, but this should work just as well with the Windows users. Now this can be a bit tricky if you're not careful and you don't follow in the exact order that I'm gonna show you here. So just follow me and I'll try to take it as slow as I can so that I can show you how to save your SHSH blobs for your Apple TV G2. Now if you jailbroken your Apple TV G2 before, no doubt you already have the USB micro cable that's required. But if you haven't done so before, you're gonna to need to get one uh, because Apple is using this USB micro cable it's not a normal USB mini cable that you may be used to. So you have to purchase one of these maybe at Radio Shack or online at Amazon or something like that. But if you notice in the back of your Apple TV, let me just unplug everything here. If you notice in the back of your Apple TV, there is a USB micro port instead of a USB mini port. That makes a big difference. You're going to need a special USB micro USB cable in order to accommodate this. Now, once you're sure you have all the required materials, you have Tiny Umbrella already installed on your computer, you can proceed. The first thing I recommend you do is to unplug everything from your Apple TV so it's just free of all cables and cords. Next, go ahead and open up Tiny Umbrella on your desktop. Now, I'm using Tiny Umbrella 4.21.07. So let's do it. I'm gonna plug in my power. You should see the indicator light start to flash should blink slowly and that's ready to go so let's go ahead and plug in our micro USB there you go so now it's going to fire up and then tiny umbrella should recognize your Apple TV. So there you go. Now you notice the Apple TV is listed under connected devices. Let's skip over to advanced, make sure that save all available SHSH is checked, and make sure to request SHSH from Cydia is checked. And then the other options, it's gonna vary depending on your circumstances. You have your directory where you want them saved here. So all you need to do is just click save. You can see it working should save it in this exact location. Now, here's the good stuff. Your backed up SHSH blobs. You probably will never use them. Hopefully you'll never have to. But just in case you need to downgrade your Apple TV firmware in the future, it's imperative that you have these. So that's how you do it. Pretty simple, isn't it? Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com.